Hub One, Jesse Webb Traders Pro. Market conditions remaining a bullish in a bull market, sitting at 15.06. Uh, currently, and we are seeing, we saw a real strong rally on Friday that took uh, momentum back from the bullish trend location up into the upper extreme area, which is fine. Uh, we've got a lot of room in that range for a follow through of breakout. If we continue to see that in S&P 500, also seeing breadth sitting solidly in the uh, momentum zone and then also sentiment cl climbing back again. So uh, continuation of that bullish overall trend. Buy sell ratio, though, is still showing that negative uh, or bearish sentiment. It's sitting right at 0.46. So still some some negative sentiment across the broader market. Uh, but S&P 500, again, as it's weighted pretty heavily and technology is continuing to uh, trend right here. We're seeing, we saw a big spike in sentiment towards that upper range, 78. So we'll see if we get another day or two that takes us back up into that extreme area where uh, we'll certainly want to start to look for either some cautionary locations for some support on S&P 500. Uh, or some possible reversal locations. So we'll take a look at that a little bit closer here as the week progresses. Uh, if we take a look at uh, S&P 500, let's look at uh, SPY. And uh, we're seeing big solid. Let's look at the NASDAQ as well. So it's a really solid move in NASDAQ 100, which is the triple Qs, QQQ, solid breakout. We're seeing technology still remaining. the real strong sector currently. And, and a solid breakout on SPY right here. Good, um, you know, good solid confirmation bar, heavy volume as well. So we'll more than likely see some continuation on that. There's some support now. Uh, right here at 477. So that 477 now becomes that new floor, that new support area where we, where we will want to see any kind of retracement start to hold up or continue to hold up at that location for uh, continuation of this overall trend. If we take a look at sectors to see if we're seeing any improvement there as far as the broad group, we are seeing kind of a split, uh, you know, kind of a split commentary right here where we have about half and half and then, uh, and then you know, I guess a third uh, of each right here. We've got healthcare, technology, communications. Those are our leading sectors. We've got a handful that are stuck right in the middle. And then we've got a few that are in downtrends, base material, energy, real estate, utilities. Uh, we're, seeing, we're seeing a bounce here on some of these or very close to these. We'll uh, take a look at uh, oil right here. If we have commodities, USO, we're seeing this bounce here. We talked about it on Friday where we had this green confirmation bar, this rounding process here. We're now getting a little bit higher high than here. So creating a, a new support level and t starting to test the upper ranges now of this possible uptrend. So $69, 60 uh, what is that? 69.80. Some resistance right here on USO. We'll see if we can break up out of that area. But now we've, we're back in this bullish trend and uh, oil could be an interesting location to be watching some of these uh, areas as they're moving forward. Gold, GLD also had a bounce here. A little bit of a dip back down, but it's playing around inside of this counter trend zone, attempting inside of that momentum zone. But this retracement, it could, it could fall all the way back to this support le level and still be in an overall bullish uptrend for some support and then anticipation for continue, uh, continued upside. That would just be a corrective counter trending uh, move higher. But, we, but it may happen right here at this support area. Keep your eye on GLD also this week. Uh, some muscle stocks to let, take a look at. SMCI had a real big move here and 35% uh, move on a real solid breakout. This has been a real big high flyer, 436% yearly. And so this could be a real solid confirmation bar, massive volume on that as well. So, you know, you've got a lot of interest on this breakout, 35%, you know, that the, in one day, may have a, a day or two or three of retracement or consolidation or nothing right here or, or continued to the upside. But keep an eye on SMCI when there's that much interest and demand uh, in a stock on a breakout pattern in this sector. Uh, that's of note for sure. A couple others that are moving. CBay upper end of this range, nice consolidation, generic drug sector, which is uh, got a lot of strength right here. And also Builder, BLDR, which is uh, in the building and construction space. 
which is uh, which is really done well here in this during this rally in November October as the anticipation for interest rates is starting to come back down again. You're seeing builders and const- anything to do with construction uh, moving higher. That being said, let's jump back actually to bonds and see what's happening here because we do have a little bit of a retracement in bonds, and so we want to see bonds start to find some support and hold up and then ultimately move back higher. Remember that as bonds are moving lower, interest rates are moving higher. So as as long as this is moving down, we're dealing with higher interest rates. And so we've had really, as during the the market's consolidation phase, uh, bonds have also really consolidated or counter-trended. So we'll see if we can find any kind of support right here in bonds. This range on this time frame, that 92 to 94 range, if we go out to that one year, uh, still that current trend. Let's look at the retracement on this trend. If we can get it to snap this other direction, there's the one right there. 382 retracement on the current trend right here. Let me get rid of volume. And so here's our trend and here's the current rally in bonds and here's the retracement of that. So we're starting to see some support at that $93 range. And again, that's what we want to see. We want to see bonds start to move higher. Uh, it really is. Ha- it really has to happen in order for this overall trend to continue higher because that's what the market is anticipating. Um, again, that can always change in perspectives and what the Fed's doing and inflation and you know different all of the different numbers that are coming in regarding that. So let's just focus on price activity currently and some weakness there, but at an area where we could start to see some support uh, on bonds. Pretty significant this direction here and then all the way across here. There's quite a bit of support at this area, which uh, should create some kind of a bounce. And if that can continue to hold and we get some uh, some demand there, then we then we start to test these upper ranges. So that's where at the bottom of this range, we want to see if we can move to the upper end of this range, retest it, and then potentially break up out of that $96 range. So as you're watching SPY and some of these other markets, keep your eye on TLT as well and uh, some opportunity there to kind of you know kind of get a rhythm for what's happening in the both the bonds and the stock market that'll do it for today's update everybody have a fantastic day today